Uh, as we make our way to the GCPD back in the open world, it's a great opportunity to talk a little bit about some of those specific features Tony mentioned earlier and how we're using them in Batman. So let's start by talking about the snow. Nick, maybe just find a place with some snow. Um, the Christmas Eve, I mentioned the, the, the setting for this game, there's a big snowstorm that's blowing in. And having a city that felt like it was Christmas and that there was a snowstorm was really important to us for a variety of reasons. Um, we really love the sort of emotional dissonance, the disconnect that's created by having the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas presents and it's turkey and it's Christmas carols and it's holding hands and it's friends and family and getting drunk and all of that good stuff. But it's in the worst place in the entire world. And that sort of white on black creates some very wonderful emotional opportunities that we play with in this game just to kind of put the players on ease. And so in order to help reinforce this feeling of winter, this feeling of snow and Christmas, we invested in this dynamic snow system. And it's particularly powerful because of the work with NVIDIA in order to have the truly deformable snow, the HBO Plus, the, 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 the dynamic lighting that we have on the footprints creates a very sort of realistic and believable shadowing system on every footprint. When you're playing this game on PC, the snow actually is at different depths depending on whether you're at the rooftop, whether you walk into a snowbank, etc. And the footprints of Batman and the enemies as they're fighting, as you'll see a little bit later on, are all modifying the snow technology in real time. You'll also notice there's quite a lot of flurry action. Um, as Batman runs around, you'll see this also later on if we get into a fight in the open world. Uh, as Batman's fighting, little snow devils are kicking up on his feet. Everything to sort of help reinforce this idea that this is a winter time activity. This is taking place on Christmas Eve itself. Now, as Nick is attempting to infiltrate the police headquarters here, um, you'll notice that there are SWAT and cops everywhere on high alert. Um, you'll notice this throughout the game. These people are on high alert because of events that have taken place earlier in the game, but nowhere is their presence going to be more concentrated than right in front of their headquarters, exactly the place Batman is trying to break into. So as Nick is trying to silently take out these enemies, I'll talk a little bit more about the character himself. 